Okay, this is going to get into some really deep areas, and I'm going to try to keep it as simple as I can while covering as much as I can at the same time. So this is an artist's interpretation of the Big Bang and, you know, what science says happened after the original expansion of the universe from some unknown source. Um, so I, I saw this image and it kind of made some things click for me. And it really reminded me of Kabbalah and the emanations from the source or the singularity here, which would be the Ein or the Ein Sof and the Ein Sof R out into the Tree of Life, which you can see here. So this Kether here is the first emanation into physical reality and then it splits into the dual poles and then down through the other spheres um, and let me show you here what the source is according to Kabbalah so we have um, the three aspects of the absolute the Ein, the Ein Sof, and the Ein Sof Or or however you want to say it. Uh, let me read this short text for you. The abstract absolute space is divided into three parts. In Kabbalah, the first part is called Ein, which means nothingness. Ein is formed by three letters, Aleph, Yod, and final Nun. Ein, the nothingness, is the abstract space from where everything emerges. When we say the nothingness, it is not because it is nothing, but because it is something unrelated with what we know in this universe. It is something else, but not matter, not energy. Even though matter and energy emerge from the Ein, it is not matter or energy. It is impossible to describe that which is not matter, that which is not energy, because everything that we might describe will always be explained through matter and energy. Okay, which that reminds me of, you know, the, the Taoist teachings where they say that the, the Tao which can be described or named is not the true Tao, um, you know, or the most high God or whatever you want to say where, you know, the, the original source is indescribable and cannot be seen or quite understood through our limited human perceptions and senses. So anyway, um, you know, the Ein is like the primordial chaos. The Ein Sof here is what they call the, the limitless light, I think. Um, you know, and this pretty much is showing how the condensed energy, or whatever we want to call it, manifest into the physical reality and emanates through these three aspects into Kether which is the first um, you know phase of energy or light that we can see in, in our physical reality so this would be like the energy from the the inside of the Sun the black sun or whatever you want to call it when it first you know creates the fusion in the corona and then creates the light and the heat that powers the solar system that would be like Kether here and then you know it, it goes out into everything we see and, and trickles down into all forms of matter and vibration and frequency of energy so I got some more pictures here um, Okay, so this just ties into so much. I'm going to see where to start here. So this here is a really genius man by the name of Walter Russell. Um, you know, had a lot of this stuff figured out and explained it sort of scientifically in a way that's easier for some to understand. So this is his view of the, you know, the evolution of matter from the mind or the source, you know, the mind of God and how it, you know, emanates out into the various phases of energy and matter here. Um, so, you know, you can look into that and, and 
kind of investigate that some more. Uh, here is another diagram of the, the ein self and how it emanates. So you had the ein, which is before all this, but it's the, the nothingness. You can't really you know, understand or describe it, and this is the first level of things that you can start to describe. So the ein self is transcendence, the upper world, you know, still before it actually manifests out into the the other ten sephiro. Um, okay, this is a circular version of the tree of life, which I think it's called the the simsum, and it's a way to try to explain the process of creation and and all that. But you can see here, it looks very similar to, you know, um, the singularity, and then, you know, concentric circles, like a vortex. Same thing here, the ein. You know, I, I think here they might have it starting from the outside. I'm not exactly sure, but let's just for the sake of this, let's look at it like this. So this would be like the singularity and then, you know, the emanations out through the tree. Um, my mouse isn't working that great, sorry. So let me pick another one. Okay, this is just a basic drawing of a vortex, which we probably all know what a vortex is, but you can see how this is related to all that. You have the singularity down here, and either way you look at it, you can say that things are either emanating you know, out this way, and then this would kind of be like the Big Bang here, you know, and then it's emanating out and spiraling and and all that. Um, or you could say that, you know, things are being slowly sucked into this, kind of like a black hole or something. Just depends on which way you want to look at it, you know, your, your perspective and all that. Um, let's see. Okay. My buddy... Uh, Roger Spur, you know, really got me into some interesting stuff about vortex particles, you know, quantum physics, and he's got a friend who did this light experiment um, where he shined a laser through what he called a Venturi slit, and the slit caused the light to collapse in on itself in a way that um, it compacted so hard that it had to burst out of the other side, and when it did, it slowed the light down just enough to where somehow he could use his equipment to photograph it. And, you know, as it bursts back out, you can see that the electrons are forming a perfect, you know, vortex pattern here. Um, the bright light here would be like the singularity or the ein or the source or you know uh, kether however you want to look the ein would probably be even you know more inside of this here but this would be like the first emanation and then as it spreads out it's the rest of the the spheres on the tree or you know on that big bang picture it would be the evolution of things. Of course, this, you know, is just a a very short amount of time for this light to travel because the speed of light from our perspective is so fast. This is just a, you know, a millionth of a fraction of a second or whatever, but you can see how the process works. And it's it doesn't seem like a coincidence that these electron patterns here are perfect concentric circles just like this, you know, circular representation of the tree of life um, here we have a, a drawing which is about the anima mundi it's called uh, I can't remember the name of the drawing but basically the same thing oh, hold on you have the the source up here which is the yod hey vav hey uh, you know here's the the Sophia um, you know, things are emanating down into this circular pattern and showing you how the elements and the various phases of matter and the, the different kingdoms, the animal, vegetable, mineral kingdom and all that. You can you can get much deeper into all this and I haven't figured it all out yet, but you can see how it's all related.
but back to this picture here um, so yeah the the electrons from this singularity or source here are spreading out and you can see that they're forming these circular patterns so it's it's actually traveling in a a wave but there's particles here you know the electron is swirling so fast and his equipment is just not quite fast enough you know to capture it, it faster than this so this is what you're seeing based on his lens speed and all that but you can see that it's still f traveling in a wave in a circular wave but if you could speed it up or, or slow down or however you want to say it you would see that this is a particle or particles spinning so fast it's creating these these circles and you know you got a higher rate of vibration here and then slower and also just like with the the electromagnetic spectrum or the visible light spectrum the chakra system this and that you know your slower vibrations um, you know turn into purple and then your faster ones are, are the red you know this is approaching more of a red and then the you know the very bright light here which would be like the the monoatomic gold or the you know the very highest vibration of them all and then as it emanates out your vibration slows uh, your distance between your peaks on your sine wave and all that will you know will spread out so that might be too deep for you know some to understand but you'll get it as you look into more of this um, let me see what picture I want to use next okay um, here's another representation of a vortex you know looking straight down into it here's the the side view and then here's a top view and then it just gets so much deeper from here you can just take this any direction you want you know you have the the Fibonacci spiral or the the golden section golden spiral here which is just one you know selected section of a spiral or a vortex and it shows you the mathematical proportions you have your Fibonacci sequence inside every one of these sections you know and you can just take it deeper and deeper it's it's a fractal basically and you can just keep taking this if you could just go down that vortex here it would be the same as this section but just infinitely repeating down through that singularity there or or back out you know this way for infinity it just depends on where in the spiral you're looking from um, see if we got anything else worth looking at here what is this one okay we got that so yeah you just see how it all you know really connects to each other and how the Big Bang and and all that is really just from our limited perspective and how far back we can measure and all that is basically just you know uh, a Fibonacci sequence you know as far back as we can go and just like the just like the you know the Ein and the Ein self here it's the the unknowable it's the the ineffable God the unknowable unspeakable Tao all that stuff we don't know exactly what the source is we can only start to see and measure it once it emanates out into physical reality and that's basically what the Big Bang is saying we don't know what's happening here or where the energy came from but we can measure and and see how as the energy travels out and slows down and, and you know does various things how it evolves and turns into other elements and and things like that oh, you know I could talk about this for hours and keep on going but I think it's a good place to stop here I'll, I'll do some more videos as it comes up and I think of things we're talking about but yeah really interesting stuff thanks for the original expansion of the universe from some unknown source um, 
so I, I saw this image and it kind of made some things click for me and it really reminded me of Kabbalah and the emanations from the source or the singularity here which would be the Ein or the Ein Sof and the Ein Sof R out into the tree of life which you can see here so this kether here so we have um, the three aspects of the absolute the ein the ein sof and the ein sof or or however you want to say it uh, let me read this short text for you the abstract absolute space is divided into three parts in kabbalah the is the first emanation into physical reality and then it splits into the dual poles and then down through the other spheres um, and let me show you here what the source is according to Kabbalah okay this is gonna get into some really deep areas and I'm gonna try to keep it as simple as I can while covering as much as I can at the same time so this is an artist interpretation of the Big Bang and you know what science says happened after